Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel again. I take these breaks quite often because my life gets so busy. But uh, I want to hop right into this one by giving you a quick disclaimer that I'm not actually in this video, I'm not going to show you step by step how to actually build an interchange. But I will give you the, uh, the proper um, guideline and uh, steps to follow in this video, like the, the process of it. So this is what I'm working on right now. It's uh, right over by our suburbs that I showcased in my other video. And I know I said I'd make more videos for that, but really I just been pouring all my time into this. It is really complicated. It's gonna look great when it's done. I gotta fix this ramp because it's a. Uh, I had it originally connected to this, and it would go all the way up there, but that's just too steep of an incline. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pull it above these and then connect it over here somewhere. So it only has to go up at a, a more smooth slope. It just looks better and it's safer for the drivers because you're coming down this way. Uh, you can't really see people coming up the ramp when you merge with them but uh, when you come over here and you get your own lane actually uh, it'll be a lot easier to merge over this uh, yeah <laughs> it's like a lot of fucking time and we're still working on it uh, well actually I'm pretty much the only one working on it I had a friend Brody come over and help a little bit lowering these ramps and uh, helping me level that one but I've been uh, and actually, he did a bit of work on here. I, I moved it down at the end. He just uh, sorted out the distances for each of these. But what I'm working on right now is I'm working on terraforming. Uh, I really like this bit here where it kind of like, uh, it kind of like swoops around down, which I'm really happy about. Over here looks kind of messy. I might try to clean this up a little bit. I might also try to clean this up. I'm not uh, too happy that it just goes to the end and then cuts off. I'd rather it kind of like angle towards being all the same distance from each other on these. That's just my thought process and then I don't know what I'm going to do here just because it's a, it's a bit of a difficult shape. All these other ones have been pretty straightforward. That's, that's an update on this. I will uh, do a, a f cool video at the end when it's all done. Like. Uh, shading wise but it's just it's such a massive project okay so okay first step uh, you gotta actually uh, plan it out on uh, illustrator or any paint program you have because these things are too complex to be able to keep into your, your mind alone okay I'm just gonna give a heads up quickly by saying that you're gonna want to plan this out in illustrator or whatever program you want. I'll show you what I did for this one right here on the screen. And so you just want to make sure that you're given enough adequate space for these ramps to um, actually merge with the road. Because if you're um, doing it right next to each other and there's like a 20 block difference between the road, you're going to have to connect them at such a steep little angle going down. And we don't want that. <laughs> your, your car, if you're flying off the highway, you get some air time going down these ramps or going up you'd probably hit your front bumper on it and that's bad for the car it's also um, a better experience for the uh the g-force actually as far as i'm uh concerned yeah so i, had, I actually had to rebuild this ramp here because it was too short i actually had it connecting somewhere over here but as you can see even this is a little bit steep and imagine how steep it was when this was actually the last elevated height and has to be at a ground level. Okay, uh, next up. So once you've planned out the uh, interchange on Illustrator, make sure, well, obviously make sure there's a merge off and a merge on to each uh, highway. That is if you are making a uh, highway to highway interchange. If you're just making a highway to, uh, what, what are these called? Uh, arterial roads or collector roads. And then it only has to be uh, on and off of the highway on each side just so uh, this traffic can go on or they can merge onto that traffic or so on and so on. You'll see a lot of that in um, uh, interchanges when you look on Google Earth. Now the reason this one's so um, complex here where I have I'm not connecting uh, 
these ramps straight to there is because there's just not enough height uh, just due to space limitations. I can't uh, successfully slope this up all the way to there without it being so incredibly steep. So what I had to do is I had to pull the, the ramp that sloped this highway to here. I had to pull it all the way from back over, over here. So I pull it out, uh, we can weave it above it. That way also we can uh, save some space so the uh, this going highway can also merge onto here, right here. So this is the merging spot. And it goes, oop, 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 oop. I know it's a bit longer, but when it, when it looks uh, complicated like this, it really adds. And same thing, same deal on this side. I actually had to pull this one a little bit further because of this uh, clover leaf. Uh, or I guess, well, it's not really a clover leaf, but this little loop ramp thing. <laughs> all, I had to pull it all the way from over here. So, whoop, and down into there. Yeah, that, so that's a really long, uh, uh, actually the traffic, yeah, it's coming this way. And then it merges just over here, right? So at least you're getting onto the highway regardless, because if you were to come over here, I can't just add another ramp that throws you this way. So what I did is I split it off here so then you can actually come from up here. So this is why planning is important um, because if you were to make this mistake of there's not enough height between of them, you're gonna end up uh, hating yourself later. Next up, so once you're done planning, start in game figuring out where the major highways go. Um, so what I did is I used the anchor points in Illustrator as different little, uh, like, uh, uh, anchor points in game, pretty much. So what I did was I found a good uh, circle radius that would transition from this slope to this slope that kind of met the uh, qualifications of the anchor point. And then it would go, go on and so on. Just make sure there's enough highway that you have space for your ramps. Don't build it in yet, just use wool as an outline. I'll show you a picture of what I have after all the ramps are in, but uh, just focus on the um, that major highway parts. That's kind of what you want it to look like because wool is a lot easier to fix than the entire filled in section if you were to make a mistake. Um, okay, so second step, or third step actually at this point, plan out your ramps with the wool. Don't um, plan it on the same level as your highways. You kind of want to go like roughly figure out the uh, the height changes between them, but uh, just build it like above where you have a lot of space to see the ramp clearly, and you can figure out if anything looks wrong or such. And then uh, yeah, after that, if you're confident in the shapes of your highway and you don't think you'll need to fix it later, um, then you can start filling things in. Yeah, I'd recommend starting on the major highway parts for like the actual highways because you're gonna want to. Uh, level these like move them down at a slope or up at a slope based on your terrain just because of the Massive amount of space they take up in these interchanges. So if you're trying to keep it all flat and such um, It won't look that good Because if uh, that ends like above the ground and this ends into the ground Then it just doesn't look right So what I had to do is I had to slope mine up because the hill here actually uh, goes up a little bit and uh, forgive these trees, they're just chilling in the dark. <laughs> I, I kind of cut them all in half. And yeah, so when I actually did a lot of uh, extensions here just for these um, merging lanes to have a lot of adequate space to merge. Like yeah, this one right here, the second one from the left is so long, just so the, the ramp can have a nice amount of time to merge. Okay, so once you've planned out everything and filled it out, make sure that when you are figuring out their final spots, that you are giving enough space between these ramps that go underneath of it or over top of it, right? Because over here, I might actually raise this. It was only this low because of the space restrictions over there. But here it's six blocks. And you want to kind of aim for seven to eight because it looks better and semi trucks are really tall, especially in a one to one to five scale. And you can't have their uh, tra trailers um, having a no roof right? <laughs> so there's that yeah just make sure when you're planning out the different height between these whatever ramps will go in between have enough space uh to drive underneath okay next up 
you're gonna fill out these ramps and then once you're done filling out all the ramps then you can start planning out how to uh, connect them so here's what i do when i want to connect well this one's actually a really bad example because it does have a little split off here which i had to uh, do a little bit of extra thinking for um, okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to go from, so the lowest level I need to connect at was 28, right? You can see that at the looking at block. So 28. And all the way up here was 47. So the difference is 19. So you're going to want it to go down 18 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 times. Just do it one less and then make sure you plan it to go down 18 times when you're separating out the different uh, segments between the slope. And uh, always have the ends a little bit longer than the sections in the middle so it kind of like curves down. And then uh, once that's done, uh, it'll look good. And, but you gotta do that for all the other eight ones. If you're, or I guess uh, I had like 12 or something because I made it super complex with that little woo 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 over there. Yeah, you gotta do that for all of them. And I'd recommend not really going lower than, uh, what is this, 15 per block? Cause even this looks a little steep, right? And if you're doing 12 or 13, It'll look super steep and you don't want that. So 15 to 20 um, in that range should be your minimum. But if you can go like lower or higher like this, it, it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, and uh, after that, uh, next up, terraforming. Pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, remember that you kind of want the ground to support the highway as much as possible. The only reason I don't have the ground coming all the way over here is just because it would look bad, but I still have uh, the center, which is going to be like the heaviest part of this elevated bit, um, surrounded by ground, right? And then uh, obviously where you can't have ground, have these little supports on your highway. I'm still working on terraforming this. It's just, terraforming just takes a long time because I do it all by hand. I don't use any commands or anything. It, it, terraforming is probably like because you can't use commands is one of the toughest parts for anyone. But if you can pull it off and it looks really good, then props to you, because it's really fucking hard. And uh, yeah, after that, you can add trees if you want, add a little bit of texturing, grass, whatever you want, but your highway interchange is complete. And uh, hopefully this video helps you with a little direction on these uh, monsters, because uh, they are so big. <laughs> just just have faith. You'll pull it off if you stick to it. Um, obviously, you can add all these uh, support beams if you'd like. It's up to you, really, at the end of the day. I, I add a little bit of a partition between the actual uh, barrier and the wall here. for like, Because if your car crashes into here, it'll give you a little bit more of a cushion before you hit straight into the concrete wall that has a bunch of dirt and stuff in it, which is a... Uh, a lot more sturdy than that but I like this view here it's a little a little good one I also like the one over here this is, uh, I'm really happy with how this is turning out it just takes a lot of time yeah hopefully this helped you um, I'll do a more uh, complex video or in-depth video on how to actually build one of these when we get to inner interchange over that way it's a T interchange so it's a little bit less complex than this but it still has all the major um, major parts that you need to know to build any interchange. Anyways, that's it. I hope you had a, have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.